Students, welcome to my class. As I said, in today's session, we will take up a couple of techniques that we essentially use in the risk evaluation approach. The first important approach that um, we shall go through today is the risk adjusted rate of return. So before I run through the entire exercise, uh, let me tell you um, a little bit about this particular concept, risk adjusted rate of return. Um, this part of the risk counted rate approach is one of the most widely used methods, one of the most simplest used methods for incorporating the risk into the capital budgeting decision. Here the more amount of the risk existing in a project is incorporated in the discount rate employed in the present value calculation. Risk adjusted discount rate is a method what, where we try to incorporate the risk in the risk uh, in the discount rate employed in computing the present value. Um, relatively risky projects would have a relatively high discount rate. Keep that in your mind. And relatively safer projects would have a relatively lower discount rates. Now the question is how do we accept or reject the decision pertaining to the proposal under this particular method? Um, what we can do is uh, uh, here uh, we can use both the NPV as well as IRR. Uh, in evaluating a project under the risk adjusted discount rate approach, one can use both the NPV as well as the IRR. So if the NPV method is used, okay, if the NPV method is used, what we can, if the NPV method is used, uh, what we can do is uh, the NPV would be calculated using the risk adjusted rate. And if the NPV is positive, if the NPV is positive, then we may accept the proposal and that proposal would qualify for the acceptance. In case we are using IRR, then we may have to compare the IRR as against the uh, RADR. We need to compare it with RADR and in case uh, where we find that your IRR exceeds the risk adjusted discount rate, the proposal would be accepted or vice versa. So in this context, we will try and look at how um, we can solve a question relating to this particular concept. Uh, all the problems, all the methods I will try to uh, use the Excel sheet because the solutions are a bit large and uh, requires a, a bigger board. Um, so I thought for a better visibility and clarity, let me use a Excel sheet and therefore I have tried to shoot this on the laptop itself. For in case you require this entire sheet for your reference in the future so that uh, you uh, can use the same for your uh, uh, checking and other uh, uh, for the exam purpose, you may mail to me on this address and I shall however post it to you. So keeping this in mind, let's quickly go to the question. The question is determine the risk adjusted net present value of the following project and you're given three projects X, Y and Z. What are the details provided to us? The details given to us are net cash outlay, project life years, annual cash inflow, coefficient of variation. And the details are given to you in terms of uh, numbers. Question is, the, comp the company selects the risk adjusted rate of discount on the basis of the coefficient of variation. And they've given you the COB. What is COB? Coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation is one of the important measure that helps you to uh, find out the risk and uh, helps you to quantify the risk that's available in a particular project. So in this context, the project X is giving you 1.2, 0 0.8 and 0 0.4 respectively. And uh, the RADR is also given to us. The PV factor one to um, five years at RADR is provided to us. Uh, 0, 0 0.4, 0 0.8, 1.2, 1 1.6, 2 more than 2. RADR is given to you as 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 25. And the PV of rupee 1 for all these are given to you. You need to actually determine the risk adjusted NPV. The question is determine the risk adjusted NPV. So let's quickly go to the solution. Okay. So I'll just take it here itself for the convenience. Solution. 
calculation the heading will be calculation of risk adjusted npv right now we'll take columns like particulars project x project y and project z so let me take this here so we have project x project y and project z The first thing what we would take is the annual cash flow. Annual cash inflow. Annual cash inflow is basically the return, the profits that you make. Okay. So that way the project XYZ is making a project inflow of 60,000, 45,000 and 35,000. So let's copy it here. Right. So I will take the next step as PVF. Present value factor for one to five years. Right? How do I take the PV? That's very important for you. This can be found using the coefficient of variation. It's given the question coefficient of variation in case of your project X is 1.2. So, what is the RADR for 1.2? Go to this table 1.2. Just look at this, it is 16 percent. So, for 16 percent, the PV factor of rupee 1 for 5 years is 3.274. This is the value. If you look at this, I'll just highlight it 3.274. So, let me copy this same way. If you look at Project Y. What is the what is the PVF? How do we take the PVF? Go back to check what is the COV. Coefficient of variation is 0 0.8. Go to this 14% and the PV is 3.433. So take this here. Right? Same way Z. So what is the coefficient of variation? 0 0.4. Compare it with the table which is at the rate of 12%, PV factor for this 12% is 3.605. I'm just taking it there. Now, I need to arrive at the discounted cash flow. So, discounted cash flow, discounted cash flows, is equal to it's nothing but your discounted cash inflows so how do we take multiply multiply your annual cash flow into into pvf okay so these two will give us 60000 into 3.274 is equal to 196000 one lakh ninety six thousand four hundred and forty forty five thousand into three point four three three is one lakh fifty four thousand four eighty five okay so what we can do is otherwise to have a clarity now what I normally do is I take this way this Look at this. It is much easier. Right. So you got an answer quickly. So from the discounted cash inflows, I am supposed to deduct initial investment. Right. So initial investment is equal to that's given to us. This is the initial investment, 1,90,000 and 
other values are given to us in the question. Just take it as it is. Now find out the difference. Now what is the difference? Yeah, got the answer? So the answer is Sorry, I'll just take this out. This minus this is equal to 6,440. Now, what is the difference? What is this difference? This difference is nothing but your risk adjusted NPV. Measured in terms of rupees. It's very important. Um, you can do it in your notebook, but however, for the convenience, I just took it on the Excel sheet so that we are a little faster on the video and we'll cover a little faster uh, uh, many more concepts. So what will be the inference? It's important for us to write inference at the end of the question, immaterial of the fact, whether it is asked or not. Inferences, you need to check where is the NPV higher. So if you look at this project Y is giving you the highest of all the NPVs as compared to X and Z. So therefore this particular project Y will be recommended. So how do you write the inference? The inference will be project Y gives, write it here, project Y gives the highest NPV, hence it is recommended to accept project Y, right? So this is how we will take it students. So I think you understood the concept of RADR, it's one of the most simplest and widely used technique to arrive at the risk and thereafter quantify the risk in the project. Thank you.